Hi there, it's been a while. It has been a while, and uh, for this uh, episode, I was thinking I would present to you one game which is uh, quite emblematic for the Neo Geo console. And tonight, the game I will be reviewing is Metal Slug. <laughs> So as you can see, this is a Metal Slug AES genuine uh, cartridge. It was purchased uh, last year. I actually went to get it at the HL on the 24th of December 2018. Very symbolic. <laughs> on Christmas Day. Uh, very excited about um, getting the copy at the time, and obviously still now. I have always wanted to to find this dream title, obviously, and um, I was able to get this copy, which is not perfect, but which is genuine. As you can see, it has some um, uh, pretty major sun fade on the spine, but the rest is uh, relatively in a good condition. It's, um, yeah, it looks good. The, the cart, I mean, the, the box itself is pretty, pretty good looking, and um, we're gonna take a look at what's inside, so the manual. The manual, yeah, just a classic manual. Obviously, the baggie has lived huh, since 1996. A few signs of wear, but overall, pretty good condition. So here we go. I've always had in mind that uh, being a collector, for me, meant also enjoying the games and playing them. So uh, this is the cart, an original cart, and we will be playing it tonight. It has some light scruffs and signs of wear, as you can see, but nothing major, so, yep. It's also the goal, you know, of uh, pleasing yourself with a collection is feeling that adrenaline when you actually take a beautiful piece such as this one and uh, play it. So, here we go. Very gently. Look. And we are ready to blow some tanks. <laughs> I probably won't be doing a playthrough through the entire game, but um, I'm just going to put this right here and, uh, and play a little bit so you can all enjoy. So this game was released in 1996 by NASCA, NASCA company. Uh, which soon became famous because obviously this became instantly a blockbuster. Uh, and so, let's give it a try. Okay, we're gonna go on MVS for three lives. Here we go. played it in a while. The Japanese version has some blood, as you can see. It's always cool. It's more realistic, obviously, because the, the US and the Europe and Power version have the uh, sensor of the blood, so it's kind of great. So this first stage is meant to be a, a jungle in a, a Vietnam or a, wherever it may be. Uh, at first they were planning on having some different backgrounds which were changed by the, uh, the art direction, but they eventually ended up having these uh, successions of uh, wood constructed uh, uh, you know, bases. The very 
first version of Metal Slug, you were supposed to be driving directly to the slug, the tank. And there was no, uh, there was no, uh, like, a soldier involved. And at the end, they slightly changed the scenario and ended up about, of course, That's it for stage one. So that's kind of okay-ish. Not incredible, but, you know. <laughs> uh, it's such a great pleasure to rediscover the game year after year. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, do a couple of lives. You can enjoy the backgrounds and the animations. Aspects, things in the foreground and the background, you know, very well taken care of. So, just, you know, just looking at the backgrounds, you kind of get the idea of how the extent of how the details were pushed. They really had a sense of, that, you know, what it was to make things entertaining, in action, and comic in the same time. So it was, it was really a nice mix. I had bought at the time in 1996. I had no idea what it was. And I just ordered it in a magazine. Probably it was uh, Player One, which was one of the uh, French uh, like video game review magazines at the time. So awesome. To re experience it with the wrong part of this time.
a generous uh, hostage count. Too bad I haven't finished with the tank, but you know, it's still okay. It's usually beginning of level 3, things tend to get complicated, so we'll see what level 3 deserves. I, I do have some weird colors showing up on the monitor. What were they I play it has some weird magenta separation for the colors, so it's just uh, no biggie. Probably just finish off this boss and we kind of got the idea. But it is really cool to be able to play on the real deal, on the real part. It's 
uh, it's always it's a good way to experience the game because yes, you're not really supposed to play a card, but uh, especially in Metal Slug One. But at the same time, you wouldn't be having the same pleasure if it was just, I guess, uh, you know, a main uh, adaptation or whatever. So I'm guessing, uh, I'm just in for the adrenaline and whatever it takes to, to make me enjoy it, it's good. get the idea of the game. It's an excellent game, six stages. Um, really, really nice animation for 1996 for, for the very first sequel. Um, it's a great game. Hard to find in AES, but obviously a really good, um, really good investment. Especially when you play it on a, on a PVM, it really takes all its... Look at the, the scan lines, how amazing they are. They're just. Yeah, I'll stop there. And... Well, thanks for watching in any case. It was a pleasure presenting the game to you. I hope, uh, as you can see, I'm not the. I didn't play a playthrough, but you know, it was uh, just the occasion to tell you that I love collecting and playing my Neo Geo games. And I uh, hope to see you soon for another review. Just a fun review, short one. So, um, take care, and uh, I guess I'll, I'll see you very soon. Ta-da!